don't usually do too many inspirational seminars. I'm kind of a nuts and bolts type person. I like to say, here's your goal. Here are the books that can help you get there. Here's what you're going to accomplish with them. But this particular session is the one that gives me a chance to um, soapbox a little bit, like I didn't do that last night, about, <laughs> about the larger task of homeschooling for all of us, the sort of the larger dynamic. And there are a number of things about homeschooling and the homeschooling community at large that have uh, sort of been on my mind that through this seminar, as I talk about our task to educate ourselves, that, that I'd like to address. So I want to start with actually just a couple of stories. I think last night I told you about my mother's entry into home education in 1972 when there were no support groups, there were no conferences, there were no curricula fairs. How she put together her own curriculum by writing to different headmasters and asking them for suggestions. Because of the education then that she gave us, she and I wrote The Well-Trained Mind together, a guide to classical education at home. And when the book came out in 1999, 1999, we started going around and speaking at different conferences, met a lot of homeschoolers, talked to a lot of different people who are educating their kids, and we've been doing that for the past eight or nine years. And so I feel that one way or another, I've been involved with homeschooling my whole life. 